Every medium has a visual language of its own. Great storytellers know how to use their unique medium to capture an audience's attention. Now we have a new medium, virtual reality. Suddenly, the audience decides not only where to look, but when and how long. And for this, we need a new language, the language of looking. My name is Jim Margraf, I'm CEO and founder of iFluence. And over the last 20 years, I've had the opportunity to look at how new technology can be merged with human interaction. We begin with punch cards fed into a computer. Then we had a keyboard with lines of text on a screen. Next we had a mouse, then a finger on glass, which was a tap, then a double tap, then a swipe, then a pinch, then a spread. Well, now we have your eyes. When I began looking at using your eyes to interact, I read literature on this and found that it was very dismissive because there are two basic methods for using your eyes to control something. You use a dwell, where you stare at something, or you can wink or blink. And I said, there has to be another way. So that led to a deep dive into looking at the eye, the biomechanics of the eye, the light flow through the eye to your retina, to your foveal area, the timing of information to your brain. And from this, we've extracted a set of guidelines and rules based under one simple concept, to let your eyes do what your eyes do. And we call this the language of looking. Your eyes are the fastest moving organ in your body. So imagine that anything you could do with your finger on a smartphone, you could do with your eyes with a display, but faster. So for example, I can launch an application, I can zoom into the application, I can navigate through it, I can decide to send a message, and I can do that all with my eyes as fast as I can look. But this isn't just about efficiency. What's even more compelling to me is thinking about the impact this can have on storytelling. We communicate, we empathize, we connect or disconnect with one another through gaze. And now, using our technology along with artificial intelligence, storytellers will be able to react to where you're looking or not looking, and more importantly, how you're responding emotionally. For the first time, the storyteller will be able to immerse us, not as passive observers, but as true participants. In support of this, we're working with a company called Rival Theory that creates intelligent AI characters that can be part of stories. These characters can actually get to know you based on your gaze and your behavior, learning and remembering your interests or emotional response. The AI knows how to act, react, and interact with you and it does this under the direction of the storyteller. So think Holodeck, where you are actually a participant in a story with sentient, intelligent characters, and they connect with you through gaze. The language of looking, put simply, transforms our intent into action. The virtual worlds imagined by the next generation of storytellers will empower us all to see ourselves and our world with new perspective. We'll connect and communicate, teach and learn, understand and empathize simply by looking. <laughs>